All right, what's going on, guys? Uh, this is uh, Minor Crisis. Um, sorry, I haven't been or I haven't made a commentary in a while, but um, I don't have any gameplay for you today. I probably won't unless I'm really motivated for you know just to, I guess to record or whatever. But today I want to talk about uh, the Modern Warfare 3 website. So apparently, some people. This might be old news to some people, but uh, I just want to go ahead and bring it up. And uh, some people have went to the, tried to tried to go to, to the Modern Warfare 3 website, and you know they'll type it in their address bar, you know ModernWarfare3.com, and it'll end up on a uh, battlefield, you know, a battlefield website. Now, for a while, people thought that uh, that the um, that you know, EA was either bought out the uh, Modern Warfare 3 website or uh, bought out, you know, or bought the name or you know whatever. Um, that's not the case. Um, basically, what happened was some random, some random dumbass went and made a uh, so-called Modern Warfare 3 website, and it redirects you uh, to the uh, Battlefield website. And you know he goes on about rants and how bad Call of Duty is and how it's gonna you know it's just gonna be overhyped. Uh, you know he's just, you know I, I don't know. Uh, I think he might be just mad because he's too poor to afford a uh, a Modern Warfare 3 disc, or it might be the fact that he can't uh, uh, fucking he can't like afford an Xbox, or maybe his hands are too too small for the controller. Who knows? But uh. No, nonetheless, he's a hater, so uh, that I don't know. That I think it's funny. I think it's funny that he actually had to um, make a fake Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare Three website, and it's, it's like it was, it was almost like he was trying to like boycott it, or you know, he's protesting against it so they wouldn't release it, knowing that uh, f the freaking Modern Warfare uh, Three, uh, in my opinion, is probably gonna just like blow blow battlefield away that's only my opinion cuz i'm not really a battlefield person i don't have anything against you know against battlefield uh you know it's its own game i you know i'm not going to completely just go make a battlefield website and then to redirect you to a Modern Warfare 3 or you know uh, any call of duty website and start talking trash about it i mean i yeah, i don't dislike battlefield but you know this guy just this guy must have like gotten spawn trapped on rust or something and he just f fucking flipped his shit um another thing uh it was something about modern warfare 3 uh oh yeah i got one of those uh i got a uh, informational video about modern warfare 3 coming Pro I, I could probably make it right after this video but uh uh, nonetheless, it'll be some time after this. Uh, um, I can think of anything else about this topic. Um, well, besides the fact that they, uh, the uh, pump, the you know, the Activision uh, filed a complaint on the website and said that uh, I don't even I don't even know what what he complained about, but. Um, they uh, removed the privacy settings so they could see who the owner of the domain was and it his name was Anthony Abram I think that's what it was yeah Anthony Abram and uh, he he just goes on and on about overhyped uh, how much of a fail the um, the uh, campaign is when I mean like uh, he he said like it's uh basically they're just like copy and pasting the same stuff into another disc. Um I don't really believe that even though people say that uh, you know it has the same feel as Modern Warfare 2 a little bit but it's it still has a different feel. You know just just cuz it's new every game has a different feel. You know nonetheless even if it's like a uh even if it's similar it can be it can be similar but uh it's not going to be exactly the same. So uh you know he he's just he's so, he makes himself sound so stupid uh but 
I don't know. I, I mean, I can see maybe some graphics that are better than Call of Duty, or, you know, that Battlefield has. But, I mean, come on. Uh, Modern Warfare 3 is going to be running on 60 frames per second or higher, and then Battlefield is running on 30. Modern Warfare 3 has, you know, has them doubled. I don't really see uh, the gameplay, you know, or the smoothness of the, uh, you know, the flow. And, you know, just for Modern Warfare 3, I, I, it's going to, like, kick Battlefield's ass compare it, you know, stati uh, statistic wise. That's what it looks like to me. 60 frames, 30 frames. It can't go below it, but it can always go, go above it. I mean, come on. But, um, yeah, that's it for this video. Um, by the way, I think, I'm not sure what they're going to do with the website. I think Activision might take control of it. But, um, yeah. Just so everybody was, you know, wondering about, you know, what the hell's going on with the Modern Warfare 3 website. It's not a, you know, it's not a real, like, Modern Warfare 3 website, you know, Activision doesn't own it, nobody from Infinity Ward owns it, some random kid. Um, so, yeah, I'll um, be back with a uh, Modern Warfare 3 informational video pretty soon, so uh, be sure to check that out. By the way, there's a uh, link in the description of uh, the article that has all the, uh, you know, information about the uh, the guy, what happened to him, and all that crap. So, uh, yeah, just so you guys don't think I'm pulling this stuff out my ass. You can go check out the uh, the link below, and you know, just tell me what you think.